Hey guys, it's Abby, and today I'm going to be adopting the new Eastor Hippogriff, which, you know, I obviously had to get because that thing is straight out of Harry Potter. Like, need all the Harry Potter pets, need them all to have Harry Potter names. Alright, but I'm really excited actually about the new wizard theme, not just because of Harry Potter. I think it's really cool. But yeah, so this pet is going to be named Buckbeak because that's the um, Hippogriff in Harry Potter, and he's going to be a boy. I can't remember if the one in Harry Potter is actually a boy or not, but, uh, you know, we're going to roll with that. Oh. Oh my goodness, I love this pet. It's really cool looking, and I think it's really cute too. So his birthday is September 16th, and he's friends with the Velvety Elephant. Yay, I have it. Here's his certificate. Start playing. And he's going to share a room with my griffin and my magical mouse. It's just going to be a nice little haunted -y magical room. But um, I don't know if I'll have time to bring him in there. I'm just going to open his gift box right now. Outside. Oh, he jumped. It was cute. Aw, I love the way they walk. This pet is really, really cute. Hold on, I'll show you. As soon as all the items have been gotten from storage. Alright, but look. Aw, look at the tail. It's all fluffy. It's because it's a horse tail. I guess horse tail shouldn't be that fluffy. <laughs> Alright, so red welcome balloon, bonus gift box, ancient Aztec stone statue. Um his food is chocolate mice, which reminds me a lot of sugar mice from Harry Potter. Here's the bonus. Golden apple tree, love that item. Oh my gosh, stallion at starlight. Wow. Um, okay furniture. What is his item? I can't remember what it is. It's an object. Oh, it's a mythical tapestry, so it's obviously not going to go outside, but that's what it looks like here. I'll see if I can take you to the room. <sighs> if you shall see. Here we go. So, um, my griffin is actually named Witherwings, which is what Buckbeak's names get name gets changed to, can't talk, um, over the course of the Harry Potter books. So, yeah, they're just little twinsies, kind of, except for Obviously, there are different kinds of animals, different kinds of mythical beasts. Oh, I do not know where this is going to go because there is no room of, on the walls of this room. But um, I guess we can put it there. You won't really be able to see it. But Oh, that's really cool. I might leave it there because it looks really cool there. Um, all right, so and here's his bed. And there's the room. I obviously need to do some organizing. It looks really cluttered. But, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Alright, hey guys, so I just wanted to show you how I reorganized this room. I think it looks really good. I have, like, kind of a little classroom type area, and then, um, just the rest is, like, the bedroom, and it kind of just reminds me of, like, a dormitory from Harry Potter, and I just realized all the pets in this room are named after characters in Harry Potter, so that's just really exciting for me. I'm a huge Harry Potter nerd, guys. I know you're judging me, like, whatever. Um, but yeah, I think it looks really good, and I like, um, the tapestry thing, because it's kind of like a house tapestry. I don't know. It makes me happy. So, yeah. Thanks again for watching. Bye.